Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel, McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a stock that's very similar to Red Light Holland, which got a lot of attention on my channel. This one's actually called Field Trip Health, and not only do they use psilocybin, but they're actually using ketamine-assisted dosing to heal patients of depression and anxiety. Now, before we get into the video, please take a second to smash that like button. It really does help out the channel, and it helps share this content with other people who might find value. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know in the comment section below if you're currently holding Field Trip Health or what you think about this company moving forward. Now, without further ado, let's roll the intro clip and get into today's video. Okay guys, so today we're going to be talking about Field Trip Health. This trades under the ticker symbol FTRP on the Canadian Exchange. And you can see here they've actually had a strong week. They were up 50 cents per share and they closed out on Wednesday actually at 574 Canadian. Now if we look at a six month chart, you can see they've been all the way up above the $8.25 level back in February there. And if we zoom out to a one year, you can see the company's run up all the way from the low $2 up to that $5, $6 range over the last 12 months. So it's been on a very good climb. And I'm really excited about this company. This one's also into psychedelic therapy. So similar to Red Light Holland, but in addition to the psilocybin treatments, this company also uses ketamine assisted dosing to help their patients overcome things like depression, anxiety, and mental stress. So we're gonna talk about that in more detail here as we go through the video. The other thing I wanted to call out, market cap on this one is 220 million Canadian. So it is definitely a small cap company, and it's just about three times the size of Red Light Holland. So this one is a little bit more established, this one's actually based in Toronto, and they've got a series of clinics across North America where they actually have patients come in and get prescribed these treatments. So if we jump over to their website, this really sums it up. Psychedelic therapies that bring you to life. They use evidence-based legal psychedelic therapies to help heal depression and feel better in terms of your mental outlook. And if you scroll down, you can see they've been featured in Forbes, The Economist, Bloomberg, CNBC, and Ellie, so it is starting to get some traction and they are becoming a fairly well-known treatment and company overall. And I think what really differentiates these psychedelic type treatment companies is they're extremely focused on the patient. In recent years, big drug and pharmaceutical companies have really been in the crosshairs for maximizing profits, looking only at their bottom line and not really caring about the side effects or the dependencies or any of the negative outcomes that their prescriptions or treatments have on their patients. And that's why I think this field of medicine is really exciting and really innovative in terms of the way they prioritize their clients. So it goes into detail on here. It says Field Trip takes a personalized approach to mental wellness. We blend legal psychedelic enhanced therapy, mindfulness, and self-care with a series of sessions with trained psychotherapists, all in an environment designed to foster a feeling of safety, comfort, and to promote healing. So in terms of the global opportunity here or the global market for this, According to the World Health Organization, there's over 300 million people across the world that suffer from anxiety, and these psychedelic therapies are really a new alternative to the conventional approach, which really hasn't changed a lot over the last 50 years. So if we now go into their actual approach, you can see here, while psychedelic medicine is new, it's research-backed and it's evidence-based. So the proof is actually in the pudding, and you'll see throughout the presentation here, the success rates and the response rates of these kind of treatments are well above traditional medicine. Now what they actually do is tailor each of these treatments to the individual person and their needs that they're trying to address. So how the process works is you would actually go in for an initial consultation in one of these clinics in either Canada or the United States. You then prepare mentally for the treatment and they're gonna work with you in these centers to make sure that you're mentally and physically and even I guess spiritually ready for this kind of treatment and that's done through a series of quizzes and assessments. The treatment itself, so you're going to actually have a therapist that will guide you through several of these supervised ketamine enhanced therapy sessions 
over a few week period. So it does take multiple doses and you do actually have to go in to have supervised attention while you're going through this treatment. Once the supervised treatment portion is done, they then integrate this treatment into your life. So you can see this is actually where you'd get additional medication and mindfulness tools that you could use at home. So you do have the option to do additional home rounds of your integrated treatment plan if you wish. And the final step they call out, step five, is actually going beyond the treatment. So this is now changing your mindset to live with this new lifestyle that you've created through the treatments. And they actually continue to track and work with their patients to produce that evidence-based or factual data set that they can then use to further progress these treatments and acceptance of this form of medicine. Now, in addition to their actual clinics, they've also got a number of digital tools that they provide their patients. So they have a portal system by field trip, and that's actually a patient tool to support their therapeutic journey. They've got video and text communication, so you can actually interact with specialists on that platform, and that's actually where they research and focus on their data collection as well. Now the TRIP app actually supports the self-guided therapies outside of the clinics or centers, and they've actually seen over 20% growth in monthly active users on this platform in recent months. So for me personally, I had never heard of ketamine enhanced psychotherapy before. To be honest, Red Light Holland was kind of my first experience with this psychotherapy concept. Now this company does use psilocybin as well in certain situations, but they've really focused on this ketamine enhanced psychotherapy. Now if you look up ketamine on Wikipedia, you can see here it's a medication primarily used for starting and maintaining anesthesia. So it's meant to put people to sleep in a trance-like state, but the difference with this one is it actually preserves breathing and airway reflexes. Now it does have some side effects and they call out down here that they are frequent, including raised blood pressure and nausea. So you definitely want to be supervised while doing anything to do with ketamine. But I found it interesting, even on the Wikipedia article, they do talk about this sub anesthetic doses. So this is where it actually wouldn't put you to sleep, but they call it out as a promising tool to treat pain and depression. So I found that interesting that in the main Wikipedia article, that's in the first paragraph of the description of this drug. I'm not a doctor by any means, so I'm gonna read this out for you guys because I honestly feel like I can't really spin it in any better way. Ketamine enhanced psychotherapy is conducted at lower doses of ketamine than what has been used safely in anesthesia for decades. So like we just mentioned on the Wikipedia page, this isn't meant to put you to sleep. You're meant to be alert and aware during the process. S-ketamine, a ketamine-derived drug, so a byproduct of ketamine, was the first FDA-approved drug to treat depression in the past 35 years. So there really hasn't been a lot of change in the depression anxiety treatment space for some time, and it's really overdue for a fresh treatment or option for these patients. Our therapy uses lower doses of ketamine medication in a safe setting alongside psychotherapy. These lower doses can promote better mental health by disrupting thought patterns or loops that may be preventing process. So the thinking here is by getting you out of your regular mental state, you get out of your regular mental thought patterns and that's where the change can actually happen. And I've actually heard this a lot in business as well. You only grow when you're out of your comfort zone and this is the exact same concept used in a medical setting. Now we're not gonna go deep into the medical terminology here, but basically ketamine interacts with your brain's neurotransmitters and by doing that, it actually relaxes your mind and allows you to disengage temporarily from those routine thought patterns. Now once your mind has been opened up and it's receptive, they then layer in the psychotherapy and that combination is actually what aids the anxiety and the depression for the patient. And this is actually what I love so much about doing YouTube and about researching these types of companies. This is a field of medicine that I would have never come across in my own day-to-day -day activity. And I love to learn about new products like this and companies that are really pushing the boundaries to help their customers and their patients alike. And that's why I really appreciate these viewer requests so much because you guys come up with all these cool companies that aren't on my radar and then I can learn about and potentially invest in or make some money off in the process. So now that we've talked about what Field Trip Health does, I wanted to talk about these treatment centers. So this is what we mentioned when we said they're spread across North America. You can see they currently have one in Toronto, so their home base. 
New York, LA, Chicago, Atlanta, and Houston, which is currently under construction. Now they've also got one under construction in Amsterdam, and this is where they actually are gonna administer that psilocybin truffle program. So again, similar to Red Light Holland. Now this company plans to scale this footprint to 75 plus locations by 2024. So that really tells you the power of this treatment and how well it's being received by their clients because they're targeting about a 900% increase in actual brick and mortar clinics within the next couple of years. And one other interesting thing I wanted to call out about this company, their executive team is extremely knowledgeable and very skilled in this type of industry. But in terms of their board of directors, I wanted to point out the actual companies that these people are associated with because a lot of times when you start talking about psychedelic treatments, psilocybin, ketamine dosing, stuff like that, people start to roll their eyes and say, hey, this is just speculative. It's really not proven science or proven medicine. And this slide, to me, really backed these statements up. So these are some of the biggest pharmaceutical companies in the world. Obviously, Pfizer, Biogen, University of Toronto, One Medical, John Hopkins, Bayer. It really doesn't get any bigger than these companies and more well-known and respected. So to me, as a potential investor, seeing these type of names and this type of credential on their board of advisors was really encouraging and really backed up a lot of these treatment statements that I found in the presentation. So we're going to shift gears a little bit now. We talked about how the treatment actually works. We've talked about the clinics and the leadership team a little bit. Now I wanted to talk about the market opportunity and then we're going to shift into the financials of this company. So in terms of mental health, the pandemic that we're currently in is making a massive impact on global well-being and global mental health issues. So this chart really shows that nicely. So you can see from 1990 to 2017, so this was pre-pandemic, anxiety, depression and other mental health disorders were steadily rising. And I think personally, this is because our society is becoming a lot more fast paced. There's a lot more going on, a lot more stress in general in our environment. And you can see that the number of people impacted worldwide has steadily grown from under 200 million to now upwards of about 300 million in terms of anxiety. Depression has gone up about 100 million people in those past 30 years as well. And then other mental health disorders, while they are lower overall, are following a very similar trend line. Now in terms of the last maybe 12 to 16 months while we've been in this pandemic, we've really seen this ramp exponentially. So depression rates now are up three times what they were pre-pandemic. Suicidal ideation or intentions are up three times, so very similar to depression. And this isn't actual suicides, but this is people that think about suicide, plan suicide, talk about it. And the overall population of the US 53% of people report being negatively impacted mentally by this global pandemic situation. So in terms of total addressable market for this type of a company, I feel like they had a huge opportunity prior to the last year. And now with this pandemic coming into our lives, the need for these type of services has grown exponentially. And I think now more than ever, people are willing to try different alternatives if they can see the results they're looking for. So this is exactly what this slide talks about. So we mentioned there hasn't been a lot of innovation in this space for years and years. The current antidepressants really don't work effectively for a lot of people that are suffering from these illnesses. So they have low responder rates, there's poor benefit to risk ratio in terms of chronic daily dosing, and there's high non-adherence and relapse rates. So the side effects and the issues that come along with these treatments really outweigh in a lot of cases the actual anxiety or depression itself. So here's a couple additional stats about the current treatment methods. So there's about a six to eight week onset and you're gonna see the field trip treatment has almost immediate impact to their patients. The response rate is 30%, so less than one in three people actually see an impact from these treatments. There's multiple side effects, so addiction, insomnia, agitation, loss of libido, violent impulses, suicidal impulses, and you hear a lot about this in the media. Relapse rates are between 40 to 71%, so you actually have a higher chance of relapsing than actually responding to the drug itself. 75% of people 
don't adhere to their dosing practices or their medical schedule. And this ultimately means the treatments won't work at all. And this is the stat I found the most interesting. So this Hamilton depression test or score is how they kind of measure mental health. And overall, people actually only improve two points out of a possible 52. So under 4% improvement overall for all of these additional negative impacts to their lives. So this is where psychedelic therapies really came into the picture and have shown tremendous improvements in overall response rates and effectiveness in treating these type of disorders. So this slide looks at the actual ketamine assisted dosing. So there's almost an immediate onset within the first 24 hours. Your feelings of depression and anxiety have dropped considerably. You can see a 70% response rate, so over double what you are getting on the traditional medication. It's shown to be effective versus multiple types of bipolar or unipolar depression. The results are sustained for at least seven days, and then you go back for additional treatments. And then they talk about layering in that psychology element to really see the duration of the results extended even further. Now this slide talks about psilocybin. So this is the industry that Red Light Holland is in, in terms of microdosing. Now they call out that these could be disruptive as well. The problem with these ones, so similar response rate, but you actually have to monitor the patient for upwards of eight to 10 hours. So it's very impractical to have these people in your clinic or have a nurse go out to a patient's home for half a day to make sure that they're okay. And this company is worried that if you do individual microdosing, it may present some safety concerns if you don't have an experienced medical professional there to keep an eye on things and help you through the process. Now, in addition to the ketamine assisted dosing and the psilocybin, there are some other substances that this company is really excited about. And they've actually incorporated that into this field trip discovery division. So the Field Trip Health is the actual clinics that administer these treatments to people. And the Field Trip Discovery is their research and development division that's working on getting new substances tested and approved for treatment. Now we're not going to talk about this portion of the company in too much detail in this video, but the drug they're looking at seriously right now is called FT-104, FT-104. And they're looking at this to be a next generation psychedelic that's actually even more beneficial than the ketamine or the psilocybin at treating some of these disorders. Now they have applied for a patent. However, the drug development cycle is extremely long as is, especially in some of these more innovative fields. And this slide really shows that. So you can see for some of these other MDMA, psilocybin, they took multiple years to get approved. And Field Trip is actually targeting mid 2026 or early 2027 as their targeted approval date for this FT-104 drug. So to wrap up the video, we're now gonna talk about the actual financials of this company. So in terms of cash flow and the cost of each of these sessions, they range between $25 to $5,700 per treatment program. So for that price, you'd get your first introductory or prep session, you'd get six ketamine dosing sessions with the therapy included, and then you'd get three lifestyle integration sessions to help you get set up after the actual clinical interactions. Now what that means on a per location basis is they're getting about 40 to 60 new patients per month. It takes about nine to 12 months, so under a year to become cash flow break even for each one of these new locations. They're generating anywhere from 2.5 to $3 million per year in top line revenue with EBITDA coming in at about 600K to 1 million per year per location. The CapEx or capital expenditure to open up one of these locations and get all the tools and equipment that they need is about a quarter million dollars. And in terms of working capital to cash flow break even, it's in the range of 300 to 400K. Now I really like this slide as an investor. It breaks it down in a very easy to digest, easy to understand format. And it really shows you why they're so excited and able to scale their number of clinics so aggressively over the next few years.
Now this slide talks a lot about the overall company financials and capital structure. The thing I wanted to call out here is the actual inside ownership of this company is almost 50%. So that's extremely exciting as an investor. Number one, it means there's fewer shares out there for people to buy, which generally means the share price can move up faster. And it also means that the people behind this company strongly believe in it and they've got a high amount of personal investment in seeing this company succeed. They also have no debt and cash or cash equivalents of nearly $30 million. Now to close things out, you guys, I wanted to finish off with my favorite here. This is a recent bot deal that they completed on March 17th. So they actually raised $95 million. So their cash position has grown exponentially from when that presentation was put together. And they actually issued shares at a price of $6.50 Canadian. So if we look back to their close here on Wednesday, you can see that you're actually getting these shares 75 cents cheaper than the bot deal. And if you were to buy on Tuesday, you would have got it for about $1.25 cheaper. So overall, you guys, this is a company that I'm really excited about. As mentioned, this one was not on my radar. It was a subscriber request. So I appreciate you guys sending these in and asking me to look into some of these newer companies. The thing I like so much about this one is they've got a very scalable business model. These clinics are proven, they're profitable, and they've got a strong track record in terms of patient results. Now you combine that with the pandemic situation, the growing need for mental health support, and the existing concerns around traditional antidepressant medications. And I think this company is in a very good spot in an industry that's growing and is looking for change and alternative options to treat these illnesses. Now I currently don't hold any position in Field Trip Health, but this is one that I'm definitely gonna be keeping an eye on. I feel like anything under that kind of $6, $6.50 price point is probably a reasonable entry point. I'm gonna to continue to watch and see as these clinics continue to come online. They do have a very aggressive growth target over the next couple of years. So it's going to be interesting to see if they can continue to roll out these clinics and stay on that trajectory in the coming months and years. Now, as always, if and when I do decide to take a position here, I'll post it in one of my portfolio update videos so you guys can follow along. If you haven't already, please take a second to smash that like button. It really helps the YouTube channel grow and the algorithm to push these videos for other people who might find value. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and make sure you leave a comment in the section below if there's any other companies in this space or really any industry that you guys would like me to look into and put out a video about. On a final note you guys make sure you have a great rest of your day.